for our everyday <laughs> like shoes in hell. <laughs> <laughs> and then Namaste. <laughs> On rope. Following a number of scheduling problems, the Bristol Austin expedition into Lechagia Cave finally happened. We had a number of objectives for the eight day trip, but the primary focus was to return to Zion, an extremely well decorated area that was discovered above Red Lakes near the end of the western borehole. Dan Austin led a day trip in November 2016 that resulted in pushing a formation choke into a pair of large rooms they named Red Tides. This area was visited again just a few months later on an expedition I led, in which an aid climb named Rising Tides went to an even larger area extending off the edge of the map. Several leads were left, including several that have potential to continue expanding the footprint of the cave system. Zion is an enormous room that is more than 160 feet wide and over 200 feet high. The walls and floor are almost entirely covered with flowstone, and there are spectacular pools, cave pearls, columns, and massive draperies. We pushed leads going south into large walking passage and a series of climbs. More than 2,000 feet of virgin cave was explored in this area, with a few climbs left that will require direct aid.
goes to tell me, we're gonna for free, and the longer that we make it. Sherman's got nothing on you, man. The Oz section of Lechigia Cave was discovered in 2012 following a five-day, 410-foot climb of the Kansas Twister Dome by James Hunter and myself. We've returned on several more expeditions and have added more than three miles of large and well-decorated passage to the map, but there are still leads remaining, although most are daunting technical climbs of poor quality rock. We spent two days in Oz during this year's expedition working on easier free climbs in some of the clean zones near an area called Cloud 10.
On the eighth day in the cave, we split into three teams of three for the trip back to the surface. This usually takes three to four hours and requires climbing more than a thousand vertical feet. The team surveyed more than 5,700 feet of new passage and pushed the total length of Lechuguia Cave to just under 149 miles. No, 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 no. Please try. Don't. No, no. Please try many times. Thank you.